Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi Today, inshallah, we'll continue with spherical uh, mirrors. We're going to solve the second question which you had in your unit exam about convex mirror. We said before convex mirror, if you have a sphere, it's um, we have two types of spherical mirror, convex or con and concave mirror. Convex mirror, if you have a sphere and you cut the sphere into half, the outer side of the sphere, if we consider this as the shiny surface, shiny reflected surface of the mirror, and I put the object in front of this outer side of the sphere, so this will be a convex mirror. Concave mirror, on the other hand, it's the inner side of the sphere. So the, if the inner side of a sphere is this shiny reflected surface, and I put the object in front of it, so this we call it concave mirror. Concave, always remember the word cave, you're going inside a curve, a curve, so it is the inner side of a sphere or the inner side of the spoon. So here we have always, we will have one type of image produced by convex mirror. It doesn't matter where the object is standing, I will always get upright, reduced virtual image. Since it's virtual, <coughs> the image will be on the other side of the mirror. On the other side, so Q or distance DI between the image and the mirror is negative. So DI is negative and in height, always the image is small. The height of the image is smaller than the height of the object. You see here in our case, the height of the image is 1.01, .01, while the object is 1.7. So the image is smaller or shorter than the object. Even I put the object away, still I, sh I will get reduced sized image. And here, if I put it further away, it will be extremely small. Now, in our, ex in our question, you have an object. The object is 15 centimeter from the mirror. So from the surface of a spherical glass, spherical glass tree ornament, ornament the, the, the small ornament they, they used to hang on a Christmas tree. So here is the ornament and the object is standing in front of it. If I cut this ornament into half, so I will have, this is the shiny surface, the outside of a sphere. Since it's the outside of the sphere, so I will have in this case, convex, convex mirror, convex mirror. Distance between this object and the surface of the mirror, P or DO equals, 15 centimeter. The diameter of this glass, the diameter is the whole distance from here till here. So diameter D, this is the diameter D, is 5 centimeter. From this information, we can get the radius R. So radius R is half of the distance. If this is the center of this glass, so the distance from here till here is half the radius, half the diameter. So R will be diameter over 2, 5 over 2 is 2.5 centimeter. I need the focal length, it's a convex mirror. Focal length, small f for convex mirror. It will be here, focal length, it will be half the radius. It will be this radius over two and it should be negative because it's convex. For convex mirror, for convex mirror, always I will have F is negative and Q negative. So F for convex mirror, F is always negative. Q is or DO, distance between uh, di sorry distance between the image image will be on the other side of 
uh, the mirror, it also should be negative. Negative because it's on the other side of the mirror. If it's on the same side, like concave mirror, it should be negative. So here I have the object here and the image on the other side. They're in different side. So DI or Q is negative. So this one will be negative. 2.5 divided by 2, it will give me negative 1.25 centimeter. Now I'm going to write the formula and substitute. So 1 over F will equal 1 over P plus 1 over Q. 1 over F is F is negative, so I'm going to put negative. I, I prefer to put the negative in the numerator. Negative 1 over 1.25. If you put it in the denominator, it's fine, but I prefer to put it up. will equal 1 over P. P is 15 plus Q is negative. Negative. Uh, we don't know yet, it's, but we should get negative number. Q, we don't have it. Q, we don't have. Now take 1 over 15. Keep the numbers together in one side and the variable on the other side. So I'll have 1 over Q will equal negative 1 over 1.25. Negative, when you take 1 over 15 to the other side, it will be negative 1 over 15. Now to simplify, you should have the same denominator, so I'm going to swap. Here I'm going to multiply by 1.25 and here by 15. If you multiply the denominator by a number, denominator should be multiplied by a same number. So I'm going here, I'm going to multiply by 1.25 and here I'm going to multiply by 15. 1.25 times 15, so 1 over Q will equal, this will give me 18, 18.75, 18 18.75. Negative 15 minus 1 times 1.25, 1.25. And this will give me minus 16.25, minus 16.25, divided by 18.75. This is 1 over Q. So either I, either or, I flip the, the uh, fraction or cross multiplication. So I have here negative 16.25 divided by 18.75. Either you do cross multiplication or you flip. So in this case, I'm going to flip. It's easier. So Q over 1 will be negative 18.75 divided by 16.25. And this will give me minus 1.15 centimeter. So minus, that means the image, it's on the other side of the mirror. It's virtual image. So we can see it is behind the mirror, behind the mirror. And here we have a glass. OK, we have uh, glass tree ornament. So we can see it's inside. We can see it's inside, inside the glass ornament. The image, it's inside the glass ornament. Okay, if I want to find the characteristic of the image, I'm going to use the other formula, which is the multi, uh, magnification formula negative Q divided by P, negative Q is negative 1.25 and P is 15 and this will give us um, it's calculated Uh, Q, uh, Q is 1.15, 1. Q is 1.15, 1.15, 1. 
and this will give us 7.6 7.6 times 10 to the power negative 2 it's a small number is less than 1 that means and it's positive since it's positive that means the image is upright it's positive and it's virtual because it's upright and it will be reduced or the size of the image is small because this number is less than one. That's it.